Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com. And it is time to get those motors running and get ready to head out on the highway. We are gonna have some fun today. I'm playing with the Ready to Ride Suite from Stampin' Up. This is an awesome suite. We can uh, build our own motorcycles, build your own shopper. And you can also use this for more than motorcycles. So I think you're gonna find a lot of fun here. It's great for man cards and projects, but don't forget the lady riders too. I had to share, um, <laughs> Being a writer myself, I had to share this is one of my favorite experiences with Stampin' Up! And this was uh, at a leadership event in San Antonio when I got to actually ride a Harley across the stage during a skit we did in the event. So one of my favorite memories, anytime anybody asks me, that's it. Uh, but I think you are going to really enjoy these projects. We're going to make a few and I have an entire series to share with you at the end. We are live, so welcome aboard for those of you who are just jumping on board. Great to see you guys. I am giving away the Legendary Ride Bundle, which is part of the um, suite that I'm sharing today. And all you need to do to enter is drop a comment here on this video. And if you share this video uh, on social media platforms like um, uh, Facebook or Pinterest, then I will enter you a second time. So lots of excitement there. I'm excited that you guys are here and uh, excited for Friday's class. Okay, so I have a free PDF. Actually, I have several and I'm hoping they posted <laughs> when I went live. If they didn't, I promise I'll get them right up there after. Um, but there are uh, a bunch of uh, three different um, tutorials there for the projects that I'm going to be making today and you'll be able to get the dimensions and the uh, scoring measurements for what I'm going to be sharing. All right, let me share the suite with you and then uh, we'll get started right away making some stuff because I love playing with this one. This one was a lot of fun for me. So this is the Ready to Ride suite of products from Stampin' Up! And you are going to find this um, in the, it's the January to April uh, mini catalog uh, 2023. And um, it's on pages 68 and 69. Sometimes they, they overflow onto the next one, but uh, <laughs> ah, you were just going to say that reminded you of what I wrote on stage. It was such a fun memory. It was such a fun time. Oh, I can't wait for more in-person events now that, uh, now that we're doing them again. So let's take a look at what is actually in this week. So we've got Legendary Ride is a stamp set. And it's a fun stamp set. Again, great for those hard to hard to get masculine man cards. But don't forget those ladies. And we can uh, build our own choppers here. We can make them custom colors. So if you are uh, giving one of these to somebody that you love that rides, you can actually match their bike. And if you're giving it to somebody that just because it's fun and you love it, then you can make your own colors. They don't have to be orange and black and they don't have to be bright green and bright blue. They can be whatever colors you want. And I'm gonna show you some at the end that are uh, outside the box. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys love this set. It is such a fun one. All right, so let's uh, talk about the, um, what's, well, let's go right here to the, this is the embossing folder. It's called Metal Plate. This one, so many great uses for this. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you when we get started with the card, but when you do this on foils, like a silver, gold, or brushed foil, it looks like metal. It looks really like metal. It's so cool. So that's a fun one to play with. And then we have metal studs, because you got to have studs, right? <laughs> and uh, so we'll be playing with these too. And then let me just share the paper with you really quick. It's beautiful. It's specialty paper. So uh, we've got on one side, and I've, I've flipped them here. There's two of each, but I've, I've flipped them here just so you can kind of see them. This is the back side of this one here. So they're specialty, so they've got a little uh, sheen on one side, and then we've got some fun... Um, now, this particular pattern, take a look real close here. You might see like the metal plate pattern in there, but if you look a different way, you see circles. So again, more uses for this. You can really go outside the box. So then we've got the wrenches and on the flip side of the wrenches, uh, we've got um, another fun pattern here that you can color or use for other things cut out. And then we've got, uh, these are 
nuts for the bolts, right? Little little guys that go on the end. And then on the flip side of that, we have this pattern that you can pretty much, um, you can do so many fun things with this pattern, like cut up and use it as cards. And I'll share how I did some of that at the end of the episode as well. And then we've got, um, this one I don't have a flip side, so I'm just gonna flip it over. So this one reminds me of the end of a road race, <laughs> you know, where they have the chicken flag. And then we've got a bunch of different things that you could cut out here as well. And then the last one is, um, it's a fun pattern. I love that. I love the specialty part of that. The sheen on this is really pretty. And uh, the back side of that is these motorcycles. And the cool thing about these motorcycles is that um, you can cut some of them. They'll, they're facing multiple directions. So not all of them cut out with the dies. So the ones that are facing the opposite directions, won't the die won't cut out. But the ones that are facing the same as the die, you can cut them out with the die. So that's kind of neat. I know you guys always love when you can cut out designer series paper with the dies. All right, let's move that out of the way. And we are going to get started with a Z fold card. And I am going to, uh, I'm actually going to start with a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And I'm going to cut the whole thing down. So I'm going to start from scratch pretty much using my, my paper trimmer. And again, if you're popping in late, welcome. It's great to see you. So uh, you can get this uh, downloadable PDF on my blog. And uh, there's a link in the video's description, no matter where you're watching this, if you're on YouTube or Facebook, I'm live on, on both. You can click on the link in the description. It'll bring you directly to this page. Or you can go to my main blog at stampwithtammy.com. I have all the information on the products I'm using. But I also have, for this particular one, a die cutting guide. So I'm, I'm gonna actually show you what colors I'm using for the die cutting. So that's another handy tool. So getting started. So the, basically where I'm going with the free PDF is you don't have to write things down really fast or you know, while I'm going, you can, uh, you can kind of sit back, relax and enjoy the, and enjoy the show and, or craft along with me and download that PDF and you'll have all the information on it. So I've got an eight and a half by 11 sheet of basic gray sheet of cardstock. I'm cutting that in half. So we have two five and a half by eight and a half sheets. So one of those five and a half by eight and a half, I'm going to turn it. So on the long side, I'm going to score at two and an eight and four and a quarter. Four and a quarter would, would be the half. I'll burnish these in a minute, but just to show you, this is going to create our fold. So we can, one day, one way we can do this fold. And I said a Z fold, didn't I? It is a fun fold, but it's actually an easel fold. So the difference between the Z fold and the easel fold is pretty easy. So this is the Z fold when you fold it this way. And when we do the easel fold, we're gonna fold it this way. So then I'm gonna take the second uh, half here and cut that in half to four and a quarter by five and a half. And that is going to give us our front panel. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the PDFs, Linda. That's great. I'm glad. Very glad to hear that. Okay. So next up, we're going to do uh, all of our die cut work. And through the magic of video, if I can find where I just put the folder. So, so uh, good about putting everything away. I'm going to take the metal plate and I'm going to put it through some silver foil. So we have three different silver foils. And everything that I'm using, by the way, you can purchase in my online stores. And if you're on YouTube, they're quick links right on, in the um, video's description. So this is silver foil and there are three different, the pack comes with um, like the silver, silver, and there's three different kind of colors here. So these are a little bluish, like purplish here. One's a little textured and one's smooth. I, I love them all. I have a lot of fun with these. I'm actually taking, for this card, I'm taking the smoother of the silvers, the foils. I'm going to run it through. This is a 3D plate uh, folder, so I'm going to run it through and through the magic of video. <laughs> Ta-da! Here it is. Doesn't that look like real metal? It is so cool. I love this folder and, and the effects that it has. So super, super cool. And... Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and through the magic of video again. I love magical videos, don't you? <laughs> I'm going to take the die set and I'm going to cut out all the little pieces. And again, there is a guide. 
There is a guide on the free PDF um, on my blog that shows you all of the pieces that I cut out and what colors I cut them out in. And I also added an asterisk next to the ones that I used an adhesive sheet with. So any really skinny, like these pieces, I before I cut them, I attached an adhesive sheet. And if you're not familiar with that, it's, it's an, an adhesive we sell that pretty much makes your cardstock a sticker. So you just cut off a little piece here peel it off and stick it to the back of your cardstock. And then when you cut it, boom, you've got a sticker. And so that just makes assembly super, super easy. And um, then I'm also gonna cut, uh, I pre-stamped this. Uh, this is a piece from the um, rectangle dies as well. And I do have all that in the, uh, hey, my nails do match, don't they? That was completely, completely uh, unbland. How about that? Wow, it is a purple kind of day. So funny, yeah, I didn't plan that at all. I love it when things like that happen. So now all we have is some assembly. So we've got our card base, and then we've got our die cut pieces. I'm gonna put the die cut pieces on last. So let's go ahead and layer. And through the uh, magic, again, love magical videos. I, I went ahead and I, I've got uh, gray, black, and this metal foil. I'm gonna just pre-attach that for you because I had a lot I wanted to do today, so I figured I'd, I'd quicken it up a little bit so we could show a bunch of different things. And then I did the exact same thing, but I took the folder on some white, and I'm gonna put that on the inside. And for the stopper on the inside, I took this, what I've stamped, and I've put Stampin' Dimensionals on the back to pop it up a little because you want your, your stopper to pop up a little for that easel, easel fold. And then, looking for my seal adhesive. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some regular seal adhesive to attach this to here. And then the inside of our card. So you love easel cards? I love that they're just a fun fold that's super easy to do. I, I, honestly, I only do, Fun folds that are easy. <laughs> I know I do a lot of fun folds and I love to share them, but you'll notice that none of them are really complicated, even if they look like they're complicated. I try to keep them pretty easy because I, I could lose pace with easy. And then I'm only putting adhesive on the bottom quarter of this bent piece. So the adhesive is only on that bottom quarter. And then we're going to line this up, press down. And so that's gonna give us our easel fold. And I'll just show you on the table cam here. We've got our freestanding, so cute. Right, doesn't that metal plate look awesome? Seriously, love it. All right, so I'm gonna attach this piece to the front with some dimensionals, and I have some black dimensionals here. When, you, when I'm using really dark cardstock, I like to use the black dimensionals because they blend right in and you don't see them. Not that anybody's really going to be peeking for them. You know what I'm saying? White ones will work just fine too. But see, I mean, you don't see those at all unless I really hold it at an angle. So I'm going to put that right on the center. And then we are going to assemble our motorcycle, which I kind of foiled up here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put some of the pieces together. So I've, I've cut the um, black. And you know what? I'll, I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see this. Boop, just a little bit better. So I'm putting the, the tire, the black tire around the rims. So we have a tire and a rim. And I have, like I said, I used adhesive sheets on these little pieces already. So they're already sticky and waiting for me. So we've got our two tires. And then this is the, oops, let's go with the fenders. So we've got our main piece here. So there are different ways to do the back. A lot of times I, I've seen it done with like black. This is one of the die cuts here, by the way. It's this one. And um, people have done it different colors. I've seen it black, I've seen it silver. I've done it different ways. This time I didn't want it to show. So I am, uh, I did it in vellum. So it was soft behind there. Not quite a window sheet, but and this uh, main portion of the bike just kind of layers on that. Can you see that okay? 
I know video sometimes makes it a little bit hard to see that. And then these fenders, and these are the this is where you can customize. So you can make your your motorcycle, whatever uh, your loved ones or friends, whoever you're making the card for, you can make it in their favorite colors. You can make it to match their motorcycles. So I'm using Coastal Cabana today. So we've got a fun Coastal Cabana card motorcycle. Doo -doo. And then the seat is going to go right here. Now, if you did black for this where I did the vellum, the seat, uh, you would see the embossing part of the seat, but the rest of it doesn't show up as good. Although I did do some of them in black because I just liked it. But on the vellum, that black seat just kind of pops, pops right off it. All right. Before I do the rest of this, I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the card. So the motorcycle part and the wheels I put on with black dimensionals. And I just use the dimensional pack comes in a kind of a duo. So we have a full size and we have minis. So I'm going to put in, forgive me, but I do need my glasses. I have to do the granny thing because uh, like the comments are so far away that I, I can't see them with the glasses on. <laughs> But, but every, when, when I'm working up down here, I have to, it's multitasking at its finest. I'd have to use the readers for that. So I am putting these dimensionals behind, especially where I'm using vellum. So you can see them. And um, I want to make sure that I'm putting the, 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 the dimensionals here on the bike behind something that's not going to show. And I am going to put it behind the tank. I think that'll do. That's enough. See how the tank, it's cut out. You can see the dimensional through it. Normally I wouldn't do that, but I'm going to cover this up. So let's put the bike eh, right about there. And then we'll take the wheels and they're going to kind of go right. Boom. Kind of installing that right on there. And then the same in the back, kind of installing, line those up, and installing our wheels, balancing, aligning. <laughs> All right, so now let, we'll, we can go ahead and attach our flames, and because this one's on fire, I use Daffodil Delight and uh, Mango Melody for the flames. So we have those just coming right off the back here. Lighten it up. And if you want to, you could put a little dimensional on the back of that one where it overlaps the uh, metal plate. Kind of have it pop up there. Okay, now the last piece of this one, remember I said I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hide that? Okay, so on some of the designs that I made with this, um, the outline of the die, I liked that there was a cutout here. And you could kind of see through it but on most of them i didn't i didn't like that cut up so i went ahead and i've cut that same now this is the same die i cut in vellum bring the die set in really quickly so this is it's this one i cut it in the vellum but there is a little um outline embossed portion of the tank there so what i did was i took my paper snips and i cut that out and it's pretty easy to kind of just go along the lines there. I mean, they pretty much have lines to, that you can trace with your scissors just to cut it out. So it's perfectly shaped. And the rest of that I don't need. I just want the tank. So just that one little piece. Actually, I did that on an adhesive sheet, so I guess I don't need the seal. And that just fits right over the right over the tank. Doesn't that look so much better? I like it so much better than the, than the hole. And on most of them, there's a couple of them that I, I liked it, the outline of it. But this one, I really wanted to. I really wanted that tank to be visible. And then the last thing, I'm going to take those pretty little studs, studs for the studs. And, oh, Terry, I'm glad you got your rain or shine kit today. Do you, you, I don't know if you've watched the class yet for those of you that purchased it, but oh, this side over here, I've got mine right behind me. The shadow box, the rain or shine shadow box class. I love, love, love it so much. Such a cute, cute, sweet. 
Okay. So I've attached a couple little studs. We're gonna come down here on the table cam. So you can see it stands up by itself. It's kind of a little, and then it folds and boom. We've got our cute little card. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> so, so cute. Yeah, I like the, the Coastal Cabana on it is super fun too. Okay, so that is the first card. That is the uh, Fun Fold, Easel Fold card. So next we are going to make a box and not just any box, I'm making a window box, like a little, little motorcycle window box. So I took some of that designer series paper and some black cardstock. And you can do any of the patterns of designer series paper, six by six, both of these six by six. And remember that there are uh, all of this uh, information, the dimensions and all that are on my um, blog. You should be able to go right to the blog address in my um, comments right now. And you should be able to download it right now and get these. Okay, so six by six, super easy. This is like the easiest box ever, but it's a good size one too. So I'm taking the paper trimmer and using the scoring blade, which is the, the lighter of the two, and on the black, which is gonna be my base, whatever you're gonna use for the bottom, you're gonna score it at one inch all the way around on all four sides. All right, I'm gonna burnish that in a second. Now for the lid, whatever you decide to use for the lid, you could use any of the designer patterns. I'm gonna score it at, is it 15 sixteenths all the way around. So almost just a hair shy of the one inch mark, just a hair. And I'm using the paper trimmer because the Simply Scoring tool doesn't have a 1 16th inch. And you really just need it to be just a hair smaller than an inch. Okay. All right, so next you're gonna take that bone folder and burnish. Whenever you're doing boxes, you always want to make sure that you burnish these really good. I feel like the the better that score line is burnished, the, the, the better the box assembles. We're going to do that on both pieces. And of course, when you're giving, you know, when you're giving somebody a fun motorcycle card, you're going to want a matching motorcycle gift box to go with it, right? You can put your gift cards with candy, but you could also put little treats and trinkets in these boxes. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody's really getting a good present and you can put some keys in it. <laughs> I mean, you know, if somebody wanted to give me some keys, <laughs> I, I would be really more than happy. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Or am I? All right, so once that's burnished, then you're going to uh, take scissors and just cut slits to, to make tabs. So top and bottom, and since it's a square, it really doesn't matter where you start, just do the same on both sides. And I'm dovetailing, which is just a, a tiny little V, tiny little V, just because it, it makes it easier for the tabs. So there's one, and you're going to do the same with the bottom. And these boxes are great with any patterns. So you can use them with your other sets, your other designer series paper. You can make just so many fun things you can do with it. But I kind of, I was really liking the motorcycle window box idea. And I thought, you know, hey, if you're giving them a nice, cute little fun fold card, you gotta give them a cute little fun fold box to go with it, you know what I'm saying? So we got, it's easy to see that in the black, much easier to see it in the black than in the, than on the uh, other one. Actually, I guess if I do it this way, right, you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so those tabs, fold them in and put adhesive on the, the the inside part that when you fold it in that flap. I am using Seal Plus. You could also use Tear Tape, just a stronger one. Whenever doing 3Ds, I like something a little bit stronger than your 
standard steel adhesive. So then, sorry if I'm not showing that really well, but it'll look, it'll definitely show better on the uh, on the lid because it's orange inside. So then you're just tack, tacking those uh, tabs on the inside, and we have a little box. Okay, so. This is the orange I'm going to put on the inside. I'm not actually going to tack this together yet. I almost, I almost did that. But before I do, like I keep saying, I want a window box, right? So we got to put the window in it. So <laughs> kind of important if you want to make a window box. So let's bring that die cut machine right in here. And die set. I'm taking the, it's this outline right here. And that outline does fit around the other, let me just show you really quickly. It does fit around here. So if you wanted to use it as a base to build your motorcycle on for another uh, project, you can do that. And as well as like I shared, it cuts out the, um, it cuts out some of the motorcycles in the designer series paper as well. So I'm just gonna line that up right in the middle. Right, a motorcycle window. How cute is that? And cutting pad on top. Crank it through. So we've got our, our motorcycle cutout window, and then we've got a cute little motorcycle that we can use on another project at another time. That wasn't very smooth, was it? <laughs> Sometimes I can just slide that right out of there. It's really smooth and sometimes it's just not. Okay. Same thing. Now we're gonna tuck these tabs under and oh, matchbox car or motorcycle Ramona. That is a really cute idea. Definitely cute idea. When you're giving it to your little tyke. Okay, once again, before I, I, I put the adhesive on that tab, but before I do that, I wanna put, I have a window sheet cut for this. At least I think I do. I do. Um, and I wanna I put that there so that if I'm putting candy or something loose, it doesn't fall through and it gives it a little bit more stability. So to do that, I'm just gonna take, and I, I'm using regular seal adhesive here. It doesn't have to be the strong stuff. The window sheet will hold. I'm putting that around the die cut out part and then put that window sheet there and that will do. All right. Now, now we can assemble. <laughs> okay, so now we've got our lid. Wow, did I not cut those the right size? Because that is way off. I feel like I didn't cut them six by six. I'm gonna just keep going with this, but I feel like the top, I must not have had a six by six sheet because that is way off. If I had a six by six sheet, they would fit, and I'm just gonna go with my original here. We're just gonna pretend they're the same. They will fit very, very tight. They're almost almost exactly the same, right? Because you're cutting you know, one inch and one inch. Okay, so we're just gonna pretend that that fits pretend that that was a good size box because I want to finish decorating it. You know what? I can tell you that I didn't have a six by six sheet because when I put my, uh, when I put my original over it, it this, the lid is bigger. It's okay. It's all right. You still get it. And I'll, I'll make another bottom to fit this larger size. So basically what that shows is you can make this box in any size. Just, you know, just make it a little bit bigger and use the same dimensions and you can pretty much make this in different sizes. So there you go. There's a little tip for you. So I've pre-cut, as I'm not even showing you what I'm doing here, the, uh, die, the dies here in that silver foil. I used the textured silver foil that was in that pack that I shared earlier. I did all the pieces in the silver foil this time. I'm just gonna layer that wheel. 
know. This time I left um, the little cutout on the bike, but I mean, on, on my original, I even took it out. That one, it didn't bother me on this one, like it did on where I wanted it to be a color on the last one where I cut the tank out custom, custom, custom fit, custom colored. So just line that up in there and then we'll put our seat down. So now we've got, I'll take that out from underneath it so you can see there's a little window in there and you've got the motorcycle on top for a little accent and for the tag, I took the stamp set and I embossed the words in silver and then just cut them out and put some black dimensionals on the back. And this, I, I textured with the metal plate embossing folder again. And then I took the tailor made tags and it was this one right here, I think. Second smallest, but with the funky design. These are great, these tags. Perfect for things like this to add a little box to. So then I ran it through, I cut it and I ran it through the embossing folder so it looks like a metal tag, right? You've got, it looks like a little piece of metal. And then we're gonna stick that on there. We're gonna take some silver trim and wrap it around the box, however long and however much you want. You're gonna tie that up and then you can attach your tag to it and boom, actually, I want the tag to go this way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can change that around. There, much better. And then that just runs through there and then we can that will hold it closed and boom, through the magic of video, I have one done that I cut the right size. And you can see the box, you can see through it. And then this just slides off, but I tied it through there so the, the this doesn't get lost, the, the trim. I, I put a little base in there and embossed that as well, just to add a little something to it, add a little something to the inside. And you can kind of see it through the window on the front. And then I added some metal studs there. And then I don't know if I can put that back on, let's see. And eh, we almost got it. You guys get the idea. All right, so we have got, for those of you tuning in late, you're gonna wanna rewind. <laughs> so far, here's what we got. A fun fold card with a coordinating box. We've got an easel fold here. And I shared how to custom custom design your own motorcycle here. <laughs> Makes you want to go for a motorcycle ride, doesn't it? It's a, just a it's super fun set. And then the last project, and this one's just a really quick one. Um, I took the Stampin' Up! pillow box die. This is just a quickie. Took the pillow box die and ran it through some designer series paper. And it comes already pre-scored, so then I just kind of burnished the score lines and then if you put a little bit of adhesive here and here you've got the cutest little pillow box right boom well hello from south africa that's exciting well, i'm glad you could catch us and catch me live and then wrap some of that silver twine around, put a little tag on there. The tag actually was part of the die set. I, I embossed the words in there. So then you've got another cute little box there. They're just super easy, super, you know, super quick and easy to do. All right, so these are the first three projects. I have a whole series and I'm going to share uh, the rest of the series. So the, the next two cards I'm gonna share came from the designer series paper. So, I just want to pull out the designer series paper that I'm talking about and share it with you so you can get a visual because we're all visual learners, right? <laughs> I hear that all the time. I love the videos because I'm a visual learner. Well, yeah, <laughs> aren't we all? <laughs> yeah, it definitely helps to see it done. Okay, so... On the back of this design of designer series paper, there are these patterns that you can cut up and just use.
for cards. So these are like quick cards. So, I mean, you could use this side over here because you know, it's always hard to decide which side to use or you can um, use that. And then I've got the next two cards in my series and I do have the measurements for this also on my blog today too. Uh, and I cut, like I cut this guy out and just layered him with some, uh, a window of stitched rectangles, super quick and easy. You could put any greeting on that. And then with this one, I cut this piece and this piece and layered them on the front. And then the vroom vroom out of this one to make this card. And then I just kind of crumpled up the background to make it look a little vintage. So we've got a fun little, uh, fun little card. So those two were made out of the designer series paper. So those are cards number four and five in the series. And after I finish, now I'm gonna share the rest of this series with you, but after I finish um, sharing this part of the series with you, I am going to share my um, Sunday. Uh, Sunday I've got a really fun project I'm gonna be sharing on my blog. And uh, I'll probably have a short for it, a YouTube short for it. So stay tuned after the Ready to Ride because it's a different, a different, uh, sweet collection okay so the first three that i have here to share these were all done with the designer series paper and they're all fun folds and i do have a video a previous video that i did sharing how to make this fold let's put that down on the table cam so you can see when it stands up it's super fun it's like a little piece of artwork that you're giving somebody there's another one and then this one cut out the roses from one of the other from this pattern I cut the roses out and added it to this one. And this one doesn't have anything to do with motorcycles or anything. That's, that could totally be for Mother's Day. <laughs> it could be for anything, right? There we go. And that I love that paper. Just so, so pretty. All right. So first, the next three cards in the series, these are the fun folds. I will have, um, again, instructions for all of the rest of these series will be coming out on my blog this week. Except this one because I've already shared this one. This one was uh, actually another video that I had done for uh, my Stamp It Demonstrator Group's New Year's Eve um, themed blog hop. So I'll link the instructions for that as well so you can, you can get the instructions for that. And then next up, because I love that designer paper, these are uh, designer series paper cards. So I, Two of them, I, I did the fold this way. So they're kind of like, um, I don't know what you call this fold, like a matchbox fold almost. And so we've got fun and designer paper inside, just layered some cardstock and they had a right on the inside, but it's all the paper and you don't have to be sad about what side you're using on the front or the back. And this one again, cut these roses out of that pretty pattern paper. And this one, I, instead of doing the matchbox style, I folded this one inch flap back. So we've got some piece there, and then we've got that um, stud metal plate grid on the inside. And then I took, and that was the die set that I used, Fabulous Frames, here. And I, um, the, the roses underneath are from that designer series paper piece that you can cut up and make cards out of. So those three are, uh, when you don't know which side of the designer series paper to use, these are, these are great, great ideas for you. Okay, next, something completely different, sort of. And this one, um, I used the layering vellum designs for the background because there's like some maps on that vellum. So this is actually vellum back here. I don't know if you can see that. This, this layer right here is vellum. And I've got, I used the studded plate. I actually did the studded plate on vellum too. It's hard to see that on the video, but it gives it a, a frosted look. Oh, and I layered it over white, so it really gives it a cool look there. And then we've got, I embossed in copper, and that really just gave it a little classy look for that one. Next, who says they have to be for guys? They don't, right? Especially if you, you caught my picture in the beginning. Yes, <laughs> I ride. My bike isn't pink, but I wish it was. <laughs> So this one here is a floating motorcycle card. And I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to do something for the ladies out there, something a little bit more feminine. And so this one is uh, polished pink that I used. And I had some fun with that one as well. And again, see how I custom did the tank there? I liked that. And 
for this for this suite, last but not least, this is going to be an upcoming class uh, in two weeks. So you can stay tuned for this class. And I'm actually going to put you down on the table, the table cam for this one. Okay, so regular card, right? Looks like this. And take a regular little tea light. What? And you have got a glowing piece of uh, <laughs> of decor that you can put up and that's just so much fun. I loved that so much fun. So this one, I will have another video class coming up um, of all different kinds of tea light cards. So be looking forward to that one. But wait, wait, there's more, there's more. That's not the end of it. So the cards that I just shared from this week, I will be sharing instructions on my blog coming up over the next week. But on Sunday, I'm going to be sharing a one sheet wonder from this is the on the farm designer series paper. And this is celebration paper. It hasn't sold out yet. But that's not saying it won't because some of the stuff is starting to sell out. So um, I've already made some cute projects with this it matches the um, day at the farm bundle. But I have a pinwheel card I have instructions for this on my blog the pinwheel card made with a designer series paper. And in addition, I've got this made with the day at the farm. It's a sidestep. So you can kind of see a little sidestep card there. But on Sunday, I already have instructions for those. I, I promise I will link them. On Sunday, I am gonna share how to, and let me zoom you out because that way you can see a little bit better, how to turn this piece of paper into, and I know if you have this, this pack already you're like well, what am I gonna do with this piece of paper if you're not a scrapbook if you're a scrapbooker you've already used it right but if you're looking at it, you're like what am I gonna do with that one I want to do something special with it what am I gonna do and it's probably just sitting there waiting for you to think of something I've got it I've got it right okay so they're not just these are not just a one sheet wonder they're slimline slimline cards one sheet wonder and I'm going to share, and I'll, I'll do a quick short and, 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 and mention and that dimensions on how I cut the paper to uh, make it fit just right. So every single card is special. You could even make one more out of it if you wanted to cut it slightly different. But I wanted to cut it so that every single card on its own was special. It had a special scene going on it. So Sunday, I will have this at stampwithtammy.com. And... With that, that is the end of my class. We have been using the Ready to Ride Suite. That's what I've been mainly playing with today. I hope you've loved all of the samples. You can get instructions for cards one through five at stampwithtammy.com and the rest will be on my blog over the next week. Sunday will be the Slimline uh, Day at the Farm. Uh, one Sheet Wonder Day. So you'll find that on my blog on Sunday. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you. I believe Linda and I will be doing a Stampin' Scoop show coming up this week. And we'll be talking about uh, retiring in colors. So that's going to be a really important one and a fun one. Lots of ideas. And I will look forward to seeing you then. Thanks so much for joining me today.